Good morning! Today is uh, Wednesday, November 7th. I decided not to look at this video when it was out before everybody, before it was out on YouTube. It's because I was too busy with some problems and I just needed to focus on those instead of the, this one. We're looking at the death battle today. This is the most recent death battle. And you're probably going to see this Thursday or Friday after today's recording date again November 7th this is for the uh, Ultron versus Sigma death battle now I know a little about Ultron I've seen some I've seen I from a little bit of the comics Hank Pym made him in the comics Tony Stark and Bruce Banner made him in the movie uh, Avengers Age of Ultron I don't know anything about Sigma I am oh boy <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm a little out of breath for some reason. But yeah, again, I waited until this video was out on YouTube before I made my uh, reaction to it because I was so busy the last couple days with other stuff. But now we are going to go ahead and put on the video, wearing this, wearing that. Let's go ahead and put it on. Alright, let's see what we got to know about Ultron and Sigma. Be real quick with this. Humans fear what they don't understand. Especially when it comes to the infinite potential of artificial intelligence. Like, like Ultron, Ultron, Marvel's mechanical mass murderer. And Sigma, the general of genocide from Mega Man X. Mega Man, okay. And it's our, our job, job to analyze, analyze the weapons, weapons armor, armor, and skills, skills to, to find, find out who would win a death battle. battle. I always remember, I always like that line. Hank Pym was a founding member of the Avengers, -Man. the creator of the revolutionary Pym Particles and designated Scientist Supreme by Eternity. He was also really? the quote-unquote father of one of the greatest mass murderers in the universe. Guess which one he's most remembered Ultron. for. Eager to push the boundaries of science, Hank constructed an artificial intelligence which could learn and evolve on its own, modeling it on his own brain patterns. Just one problem. At the time, Hank was pretty effed up and just a few years from going full-on Looney Tunes. Maybe not the best time to base an AI off your mind, but still, yeah. this project was a success. Ultron had been born. Your destruction is inevitable. Hang on, Damn. Wes. I thought Tony and not Hulk created Ultron. That's the movie. In the movie, sure, but it was Hank in the primary source material, the comics. Well, he really knocked it out of the park. Ultron's super smart brain of all past. I remember the, the, this, they got the animated Basically versions of them. Over the innocent kid phase and straight to screw you, Dad. You'll never <laughs> understand. I bet you'd know a lot about that. Screw you, Wiz. You'll never understand. <laughs> Ultron's consciousness was based off Hank's struggling bipolar one. He inherited his creator's issues and magnified them into absurdity. With a new thirst for power, coupled with a severe inferiority complex, Ultron escaped the lab, bent on destroying his father, the Avengers, and basically all organic life. And the first step was upgrading his trash can of a body into a sleek new adamantium one. The same kind of metal used for Wolverine's skeleton chrome job. But you may be wondering, how's he gonna walk around if his entire body is made of adamantium? Even Thor has a hard time bending that stuff. Really? And he can friggin' destroy planets. I did not know Ultron that. thought of that and created an answer. His molecular rearranger allows him to mold and shape his body any way he likes. What the he hell? Manipulate his Human form? Himself to move around or transform into blades, spikes, and oh. explosions, apparently. Specifically, he can expend his body through a blast of energetic force. The molecular rearranger is also a handy repair tool on the off chance he is damaged. He's also got a power siphon to absorb energy, jet boosters for flight, nanobot antibodies, and a fusion reactor powering the whole package. And if you're a death robot who's about to challenge all the Avengers to a fight all at once, which Ultron did, you're gonna need more than just some fancy doodads to pull it off. He possesses super strength and super speed, and he can manipulate ionic energy. An ion is an atom or molecule with an electric charge, and this charge is created when it loses or gains one or more Yeah, you go to sleep. Uh, enough nerd speak, Wiz. It's just there because all robo people need to shoot awesome robo lasers. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Yes. Ultron can fire beams of ionic energy from his eyes, mouth, and hands, and can even use it to create force fields. 
He also wields an encephalo ray, which allows him to encephalo? read and control minds, erase memories, and even put you into a coma with a single hit. Ah, syphilis ray, huh? Yeah, oh, come on. Run. Too true. Also, Ultron's artificial intelligence isn't bound to any one physical body. Should he be destroyed, he can transfer his consciousness into another machine to survive. And boy, does he have a lot of drones on hand just for that. Like the giant Ultron 7 or what the, the Christmas-themed Santatron. And who what, could Santa? forget Ultron 15, the alcoholic one. Pop what? Robot, all fun. While most <laughs> of these drones are relatively fragile compared to his own adamantium shell, Ultron has a veritable army on his hands, all of which are extensions of his will that he commands simultaneously. He's conquered the whole world with these guys in two different future timelines. Really? He's humiliated heavy hitters like Iron Man, Wonder Man, and Thor, flown across the entire galaxy just for fun, and tanked hits from Mjolnir like they were nothing. Plus, he's hella smart. I mean, Hank is scientist supreme, right? And Ultron was designed to grow smarter than him, so that must make him scientist ultra supreme. With extra cheese. He even assimilated <laughs> extra a techno race known as the Phalanx, and then used them to conquer the entire Kree. What? This empire spans the Greater Magellanic Cloud, a real-life satellite galaxy near to our own Milky Way. It's made up of a thousand planets across a diameter of 14,000 light years. Holy. And Ultron conquered what? all of them in just a couple hours. Hours? Damn, that's some dedication. I can't even bother to finish conquering oh, all the angels outside my shack. With oh. all that power and intelligence, Ultron was able to defeat the time-traveling warlord Kang, who pulled an army of superheroes across time to fight for him. Kang lost so many times that the universe started to collapse from oh. how many people oh, he was shit. hopping to fight Ultron. Man, is there anything that can stop this robot? Well, sufficient heat can melt his internal circuitry, his adamantium is vulnerable to anti-metal, and he is frequently defeated by computer viruses that can attack his AI directly. He also never really got over the crazy he inherited from Hank. He once self-destructed in utter disbelief after reading the phrase, Thou shalt not kill. Yeah, he's so murder-happy that just the thought of not killing people drove him to suicide. Really? Yeah, guys got problems. No kidding, he wants to turn Hank's wife into a robot bride for himself. Hey, hey, pretty mama. <laughs> and wants to merge <laughs> galaxy road trip, slaughtering billions just for fun. Whoa, wait, what was that bit about sex botting his mom? There aren't enough pim particles in the world to shrink Ultron's issues, but to be honest, that's probably what makes him so incredibly deadly. But like the man said, what doesn't kill him? <laughs> Just makes me stronger. Now let's learn about Sigma. In the year 21, <coughs> humanity experienced 21. <coughs> the age of technology, all thanks to the discovery and replication of a certain blue android that could think and feel. Like Mega Man. Human. These replicated androids, or reploids, reploids. were mass produced and used at all levels of society. Wow. That sounds amazing. Like it could have no possible negative repercussions at all. There, there you go. There it is. Instances of crime involving reploids began to increase. Something seemed to be infecting them, turning these reploids into violent mavericks who needed to be stopped. So Dr. Kane, the guy that started this reploid shindig in the first place, created a robot so badass that it could hunt mavericks without getting infected himself. This reploid was named Sigma. Sigma. Commander Sigma led the newly formed Maverick Hunters like an elite police force. Under his leadership skills, the number of overall casualties dropped to a whopping zero. Things were going great. Well, until they found a mysterious... Looks like the Maverick forbidden love child of Zerg and Buzz Lightyear. ...eating Maverick Hunter ass for breakfast. What? Uh, wait, that, that didn't come out right. Sigma fought the fight of his life. And though he technically won, his victory was far more pyrrhic than he or the rest of the world could ever have imagined. So this red guy was called Zero, and turns out the thing infecting reploids and turning them into mavericks was a virus leaking from Zero's stasis pod. It also didn't sound right. A final gift from that dastardly Dr. Wily. Oh dear god, that thing is hard on a uh. Fortunately, Sigma was designed to fight off such a virus. Unfortunately, this actually just made things worse. Instead of bending Sigma to its violent will, the virus merged with his programming, what? becoming one with his body and mind. Together, they both became stronger than before, with a whole new outlook on the world. Sigma began to look at humankind as detrimental to reploid evolution, holding back their full potential. 
Yeah, yeah, the big strong metal people hate the dumb flesh bags. Blah, blah. I hear it from you yeah. every time at the bar, Wiz. I... When was the last time I went to a bar? You don't remember? Um, no. No. Mission accomplished. Sigma <laughs> gathered an army of mavericks, and when the time was right, his invasion began. But to pull it off, he needed some bitchin' robo-weapons. Sigma's favorite is his totally not copyrighted beam sword. But yeah, totally not Star Wars lightsaber. With his flying hammer, beam scythe, and the I'm not compensating for anything size Sigma blade. He also wields an energy rifle, flamethrower, and a giant energy Okay. Hammer. For extra defense, he has a shield that can be tossed around the room like a boomerang. And hey, look, he's like a Robo Wolverine. Only the really? balls on the outside. Well, and, and inside. With all these weapons and okay. an army at his back, Sigma's operation was nearly successful. However, he was halted by the original android Dr. Kane found all those years ago Mega Man X. But Sigma just kept coming back over and over and over and over. And over and over and and wait a minute, is that a new villain? Oh, never no, mind. He's no. just being controlled yeah. by Sigma. How the hell does he keep coming back? How many lives does this guy have? Well, Sigma's body is just a shell. The true essence of Sigma lies in the merged and sentient Sigma virus. This virus can infect other robotic bodies, turning other Reploids maverick or even completely transferring his consciousness. He's even built Whoa. several enormous bodies just for this. These extra robo shells have all sorts of unique abilities. They can fly, teleport around, make walls of electricity, create force fields, shoot a giant laser beam of death, or make some blue balls. Uh, really? Rough buddy. It's... I've been there. <laughs> also, each of Sigma's yeah, I know what that means. Abilities that are... Hey, hey, look, Wiz, they're all animals. That one's a penguin, and that's an octopus, Puss? and that one's a... Uh, Boomer Kawanger. Yeah. Kawangers are... Uh, uh... What the f*** is a Kawanger? It's just a messed up romanization of Kuwagata, the Japanese word for stag beetle. Yeah, I guess Kuwanger sounds more badass. With these it does forces, sound more Sigma badass. Sigma war with humanity for many, many years. He's battled top tier Maverick hunters like X, Axel, and even that Zero guy. Wait, what's Guns N' Roses doing here? <laughs> Zero once survived an impact that broke apart the Eurasia space colony, which, when its pieces landed on Earth, created an explosion equal to at least 100 teratons of TNT. And Sigma is powerful enough to take out Zero in a single hit. Damn! But Sigma's also managed to damage X, who once channeled enough energy through his body to destroy all of Japan. Holy Sorry, Godzilla. And many of Sigma's bodies could tank attacks from both X and Zero without much issue. That's impressive, considering X fought the General, whose body was tough enough to block a laser capable of destroying the Earth. The minimum amount of energy necessary to destroy a planet is known as its gravitational binding energy which in the case of Earth is equivalent to a little over 63 Whoa. sextillion tons of TNT. That's 22 zeros, the, the number, not the robot. Plus, he's fast enough to keep up with zero, the actual robot, not the number, who dodged Optic Sunflower's beam of sunlight. Actually, Sigma's likely even faster. Recall that Reploids like X, Zero, and Sigma were designed to be superior in every way to classic era robots like Mega Man. That same Mega Man fought Duo, a space robot capable of flying between Saturn and the Earth within 35 seconds. The only 30, thing that 35 seconds. Sigma was the Mother Elf antivirus You've gotta be program. kidding me. But if you don't take out the squishy computery center, he'll always come back. So long as Sigma's still kicking, the dream of a world where humans and I don't know who I'm gonna pick. is doomed to be a nightmare. The time has come to prove your mettle against me. This fight will decide the fate of all Reploids. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. All right, then, I don't know who to choose. Set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, let us help you. Oh, God's sakes, ads. Meal. Let's skip this one. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in the U.S. But did you know about all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Like the honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano and lime rice. There's plenty to choose from, since they offer 12 new recipes each week. All you have to do is choose the two, three, or four that sound best to you, and they deliver it right to your door. Plus, it's super simple to cook. It's got easy to follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non-GMO, and the meat has no added hormones. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. 
So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your Ooh, first yeah. three meals free. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Let's do this. Now, I'm not going to choose who I'm thinking is going to win. I'm just going to see who's going to win. Ugh. There's Ultron. Hello, everyone. I'll accept your unconditional surrender now. At the risk of sounding cliche. You and what army? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna see who's gonna win. Oh, new music. Yo. Music, that music's cool. Oh, 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 oh. It's badass. Holy shit, Sigma's kicking his ass. Oh shit. Ooh. I knew he was going to say that. Yeah. Oh! Oh god! My god, this is good. He's a giant! He's the iron giant! <laughs> of course, I was just gonna say that. Oh, did he? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Throw the skin right off of him. Oh, shit! Uh oh. Oh, shit. Whoa! 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 Holy shit! Did he just win? Yeah, he just won. Should've went with him. Well, I guess that's one way to make friends. Despite Sigma's deviousness and ferocity, he was fairly outclassed by Ultron's talents. Sigma could scale to the general who took a face full of 63 sextillion tons of TNT, but Ultron can withstand hits from Thor and his hammer, and we all know how awesome that thing is. When Thor fought Gore the God Butcher, their battle created shockwaves powerful enough to shatter planets thousands of miles Whoa. away. This could only be possible with a force equivalent to 682 septillion tons of TNT. Over 10,000 times stronger than anything Sigma could survive. I wonder who does all and the not mathematical only is Ultron stuff. Frequently smacked Thor around I... like a toddler. Thor has had a really hard time trying to damage Ultron's adamantium armor, which so keeps regenerating. Weapons couldn't either. In terms of speed, Ultron flew across the galaxy in several months, putting him roughly 200,000 times the speed of light. That's leagues faster than Sigma, even if we scale him to Duo, who is 114 times light speed. 
And frankly, scaling to Duo through Mega Man in the first place is a bit capricious, as Duo didn't use his full potential in their fight. Even with all that, it really didn't matter if you punch harder or move faster, because the real fight was between the Ultron AI and the Sigma virus. Right, and while infection oh, yeah. and possession was kind How of the forget about the virus thing, Ultron's AI was far more advanced. Recall how he enslaved an entire techno race to the point where he used them to conquer an empire spanning a whole satellite galaxy. Yeah, the in hours, yeah. Like Marvel's version of the Borg. Hell, that means Ultron basically sigma a whole race of Sigmas. It also helps that Ultron is as smart or smarter than Hank, the scientist supreme. Hanks even admitted as much, and he's smart enough to construct an infinitely sized mansion in a higher dimension Wait, of what? existence. Sigma was certainly a ruthless schemer, but nowhere near that level. The only time Ultron was ever defeated by a virus was Wolverine. one specifically designed to bypass his defenses and leave him vulnerable to attack from the future and a bunch of other complicated stuff. What? Sigma was a tenacious one, but Ultron was the stronger android, the tougher villain, and the deadlier virus. It wasn't long before Ultron assimilated him. The winner is Ultron. Oh, but the pun! Come on, let's see who's next. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want the battle track from that fight, you can click the link down below and get it off iTunes. And we still have a few limited edition 100 episode posters left, so if you guys want to pick one up, just click that box right over there. Next time on Death Battle. Wait. Roshi versus Jiraiya? Are you serious? Really? Really? Master Roshi versus Pervy Sage? I used to watch Naruto as a kid, and he, Naruto would call Jiraiya Pervy Sage. Because if you know who that guy is, you pretty much know about, about why he got that name. Master Roshi, Hame! Hame! Nothing. Look, he's doing his Kamehameha wave. I don't know. I, I think that was, I think that was an episode of the of the series where Goku was reduced to a kid. I think that's what, or when he was a kid. Yeah, when he was a kid. I, I forgot what uh what that was. Um, if anybody knows what was the name of this of the Dragon Ball series in which was him as a kid, let as Goku as a kid. Let me know in the comments below because I completely forgot what the name of that one. That was when he was early years, when he before he met Krillin and all and everybody else. Um, so yeah, a little bit about Roshi, a little bit about Jiraiya. Looking forward to that one. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, every, um, if you want to check out my other Death Battle reactions, there'll be a link to the playlist in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe. See you all later.